Dear students, in this module, we are going to discuss the postmodernism and its possible interpretation in Pakistan. Postmodernism challenges the grand narratives and universal theories. Postmodernism thought rejects the overarching theories like Marxism or functionalism, arguing that the society is too complex to be captured by one perspective. In the context of Pakistan, this approach can be used to critique and understand the multitude of narratives coexisting within its diverse social, cultural, political landscapes, each influenced by the regional, religious, or ethnic identities. So the mosaic of the cultures in Pakistan as we can see that Pakistan is home to numerous ethnic groups, each with their unique languages, traditions, and cultures, encapsulates the modernism and postmodernism's idea of cultural pluralism and the fragmentation of these grand narratives. Like from the Punjabis, Sindhis, Balochis, Pashtuns to the diverse tribal groups of Gilgit Baltistan. There isn't a single Pakistani culture, but it's basically the collage of different cultures. So postmodernism and the media in Pakistan, basically in alignment with the postmodernism, emphasize on the media and technology. The Pakistani media landscape has drastically changed over the past few decades, moving away from the singular state control narratives to the pluralistic and thereby allowing the alternative viewpoints to challenge the mainstream ideologies. Then we have the postmodern skepticism towards the meta narratives and the Pakistani state. A postmodern approach would question the established meta narratives of the Pakistani state, such as its monolithic national identity or religious uniformity, instead highlighting the differing identities and beliefs in that context. So postmodernism's focus on individuals' experiences emphasizes the micro-narratives focusing on the subjective experiences of individuals rather than the overarching social structures. For example, how individuals in Pakistan construct their identities in response to local and global influences such as westernization and globalization versus tradition and religious norms. And then we have the influence of globalization in Pakistan which is a key aspect of postmodernism and it is the interconnectedness of the world through globalization. Pakistan, like many other nations, is influenced by this as seen in the influx of foreign nations is the impact of global trends on the local culture and the proliferation of digital technology even in the remote areas. So if we try to understand all these aspects, through postmodernism, in the realm of the theory, Pakistani society can be seen as simulacra, a term used by the postmodern French theorist Jean Baudrillard, implying a society where representations of things have become more important than the things themselves. For example, the depiction of a certain political event on television or social media could shape the public perception of that event more significantly than the actual occurrence itself. So, in a nutshell, this phenomenon reflects the postmodern condition of hyperreality, where the lines between the reality and its representation become so blurred.